If you want to study in Germany, but don't know from where to start, then we are here to guide you throughout the whole process. Keep on watching us till the end, we will be covering the following points. Number one, finding a study program. Two, meeting all requirements. Three, learning German language. Four, finding financial resources. Five, applying for admission and then getting a student visa. Number seven, finding accommodation. And last but not least, enrolling at your university. Point number one, finding a study program should not be a major problem, as there are a countless number of universities in Germany and undoubtedly with a high world-class level. But finding the university and the best study program can take some time. Once you find what you're looking for and which study program you'd like to study in, you can focus on a smaller list of universities that's ideal for you. We've attached a list of universities and study programs that can be suitable for you down in the description box. Keep in mind that time and deadline of applications to the program is very critical. I will tell you why in a minute, just keep on watching. Number two, meet all requirements. Now that you've decided which university you want to go to and which study program you want to apply for, you have to check if you meet all requirements. For that, you need to check the university website and their admission requirements section. And if there is anything that you do not understand in the requirements, you can easily contact the international office, you can send them an email or you can call them. They will reply to both. Point number three. Learn German language. Make sure that you start German early enough to apply to universities on time. Unless if you have the chance to learn the language in Germany before you start your studies as part of the program. But if you need German before coming to Germany, keep in mind which level you have to have and how long does it take you to study in your country. For undergraduates, most programs are taught in German. Few only will require a basic knowledge of German, even if the lectures are held in English. Keep in mind, you'll need the basic German language for your daily life, such as buying groceries or using the transportation. Maybe while talking to your neighbors, you will need it. If you'll need to learn German language from scratch, make sure that you study it on time and finish it on time in order to have the German language certificate in hand before admission. We have prepared for you a list of important tips that will help you in your admission. Make sure that you watch this video till the end. Number four, finding financial resources. Under the current law, every non-EU or non-EEA student must have the proper financial means to finance their stay in Germany during their studies. An international student must have a minimum of 10,332,000 euros. It is estimated to cover the cost of the first year of stay in Germany. This amount must be deposited in a German bank in a blocked account. And during your stay in Germany, every month, 861 euros will be unblocked from this account for your use. For a student, this is a large amount. So either start up saving for it or find yourself a scholarship that you can use as a proof of financial means. There are also other ways that you can finance your studies in Germany. So if you do not have this amount of money, it is either by uh, getting a student loan, it is possible, I'll provide you some links in the description box, or you can also apply for a scholarship. I prepared three examples for you just in case you want to apply for it. There is either the Deutsche Stipendium or the DAD scholarships or even Erasmus+. Plus. And I'll provide you also those details in the description box below. Number five, apply for admission. As soon as you meet all requirements, you have to submit your application, and this can be carried online. Most universities are a part of the National University's application platform, which is known as UniAssist. So you have to apply or submit your application to UniAssist before you even apply to the main university. In addition, there are other universities that they have their own platforms or application platforms. You can find them directly on their websites. But make sure that you apply ahead of time because, for example, UniAssist, it takes a minimum of six weeks or approximately six weeks to process your application. And then you will have to take one certificate from UniAssist and submit it to the main application at the university website. UniAssist is just a platform that uh, will check if you're eligible to apply for a German university or not. Point number six, get your German student visa. As soon as you receive your admission letter and if you are a non-EU or non-EEA student, then you'll need a German student visa. Contact the German embassy or the consulate in your home country. Ask them for an appointment, but be careful. Taking an appointment can take some time. So calculate your time 
wisely. Collect all required documents for the visa. They might also require to get a health policy for granting you a student visa. Point number seven, find an accommodation. Now, you're officially an admitted student in Germany. You must think of a place to stay in. Dormitory is not expensive, but you must give a deserved priority to this because it can cost you a lot of time to find a suitable one. Find one online before landing in Germany and make sure not to pay a penny, nothing beforehand. We have made a separate video that you can check. We're gonna keep the link up here and it will explain exactly the steps you need to do in order to find a suitable apartment on any place accommodation that you can live in, in Germany and in Canada. So make sure to watch it in order to prepare yourself before landing in Germany. Number eight, enroll at your university. First week after arriving, the most important thing that you have to do is enrolling at the university. And that's for you to be a registered student here in Germany. The public higher education in Germany usually is offered for free, but you also may have to pay some uh, registration fees. These fees range between 150 to 250 euros per semester, and there are also additional charges, just like the semester ticket, that's maybe 100 or 150 euros ma uh, maximum extra. The semester ticket is used usually to use the public transportation in a special region or specific region for free. To enroll at your university, you have to appear personally at the administration office of your university. Following your enrollment, you will be getting an ID card from the university. This ID card you will use for uh, registering for your residence permit and of course for the attendance of your classes at the university. But wait, that's not all. We have prepared for you a list of important tips before you start your journey. Tip number one, apply to as many universities and study programs as possible. 10, 20, more, but of course, don't just get satisfied with one university. Tip number two, never, ever send any original documents to any university from your home country. Copies will be good enough. Tip number three, UniAssist requires 75 euros for the first application you submit and 30 euros for each extra application you submit. Tip number four, before you even start anything, be planned. Time is very important, so being planned will save you a lot of time or will save you delays. Plan your time for gathering your requirements and for the admission deadlines and for the German language course and also for the legalization of your documents. These all take time. Tip number five, make an Excel sheet or a list to keep a track of all your admissions, of all your information in one place. Tip number six, make sure that you do not miss any deadline or documents because this is the most common issue because this may result in either delaying your arrival here to Germany or rejecting your application, which you don't want that. Tip number seven, and this is the last tip. If your documents are not in English or in German, make sure that you translate them at a certified translator from the German embassy at your home country. And that was everything you needed to know before applying to study in Germany. We wish you good luck and hope you get a place. Do your best. If you have any questions, write them in the comment section below. Please do subscribe to AYAM channel and share this valuable information with your friends. We will see you next week.